guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sapna and welcome to another fun makeup challenge video. So guys, I did a makeup challenge video sometime back which was a 5 minute makeup challenge. I tried to pull off a makeup look in like 6 minutes. So in today's video, mein, again, I have thought of doing a very fun challenge. So what I'm going to do is, I have made these slips. Okay, there are 5 slips in this thing. So I'm going to pick up one slip and what these slips entail they have uh, four different colors so every slip has four color names which i have written in them and uh, i will pick up one slip so whatever slip i get i have to use the only that color combination for my makeup especially for my eyes and my lips so uh, i actually um, got the inspiration of doing these makeup challenges from none other than nikki tutorials my absolute favorite so i really enjoy her makeup tutorials especially the makeup challenges so i thought let's take you from there so this is my original idea but the whole concept of makeup challenge has been inspired from nikki tutorials um so like uh, let's not waste any further time i will be only doing the eye makeup and the lips and i'll do the base off camera because it's all about colors so guys uh, pretty excited let's pull out a slip and see what color combination comes to me i really hope i get a good one so this is okay so this is the color combination i'm opening it in front of you keeping my fingers crossed oh okay so it says white red orange and blue well guys let me tell you i wrote colors which I actually wanted to so like I got clever so um, I am happy that I got this combination because I love this combination and in one of the slips I purposely wrote a color combination which I hated thank god I did not get that so we are gonna work with whites and reds and oranges and blue for this makeup look so let's just get started with this challenge i'm loving it but before that as i always say in all my videos that skin prepping is the most important thing you cannot start your makeup without prepping your skin and i want to share with you guys what i'm using currently for my skin prepping and after that i'll switch on to the makeup so the first thing that i am absolutely loving these days is the wow coconut micellar water now they have actually launched their coconut range all these skincare products uh, have coconut uh, extracts coconut water or coconut extracts in them so this is their micellar water which will help you remove all the makeup from your skin and at the same time it will give nourishment to your skin there are many makeup uh, removers aise hote hain, jo skin se, uh, pura moisture keech lete hain, make, them, make the skin very dull and dry this is not going to do that so let's use it so before i am starting my makeup i am uh, using this makeup remover or micellar water to thoroughly cleanse my skin although it is used as a makeup uh, remover but you can also use it to remove all the grime and oil and dirt from your skin so that you have a fresh looking skin now after that i am going to tone my skin which is extremely important guys it's extremely important do not skip the step of toning your skin so again i'm using the coconut super rich facial toner now both these products have uh, coconut water cucumber water green tea and witch hazel so the toner is also amazing this is going to give elasticity to your skin it's going to make your skin firm and uh, more clean and uh, supple and beautiful and glowy and last but not the least is the coconut water full cream it is enriched with hyaluronic acid which really really helps to uh, deeply nourish and moisturize your skin like i have very dry skin so this is really working wonders for my skin when i apply it and when i do my makeup after this my skin feels so soft and so glowy from within so i'm absolutely loving this product as well i did a video of this last time where i showed you how i use it for my hands extremely dry and damaged hands this has worked wonders for me so do try this new range from wow all the links are mentioned in the description box they are inexpensive products they are very natural no sulfates no parabens no chemicals no mineral oils 100 percent natural very very safe for the skin and my absolute favorite i talk about these products a lot i rave about wow products a lot because i personally use them and i love them and now let's start with the challenge so white red orange blue so i have to figure out my palettes and my lip color accordingly and i'll be right back 
Alright guys, so I am back with my face. I've done my base, foundation, everything. So let's start with the eye makeup and the palettes that I found out which have reds and oranges and blues and whites are one. This one, Morphe 35U palette. So it has some really great metallic colorful shades, basically shimmery shades. And the other palette that I could find in my collection, please, can you please come here? Hello. Okay. It's the Beauty Glaze palette. This is the Color Fusion palette. It's also beautifully colorful. So I have a feeling that this look this color combination is going to be tricky so let's see what i come up with so what i'm planning is that i will be taking up this red color from this palette okay and i will start stamping this red color on my outer corners and before that i am also going to be using shadow shields today because i have already done my base and i don't want my base to get spoiled so i am using shadow shields Alright, you will get these easily on Amazon or Club Factory and I think even on Shein if I'm not wrong. So you can just find them very easily on these websites. They're very affordable. So let's start the fun color play. So I'm picking up this color on my brush, just getting rid of all the creases. So I'll start with my outermost corner and I'll start depositing this color. Okay, so after depositing the red color, I'm just cleaning this brush on a wipe and I'm just going to very gently start blending it out. And guys, please uh, excuse me for the noises. There is always construction going on, like always. So today we have a construction, like something going on in our lift lobby, like very much on the floor, on our floor just outside the door so you can hear the noises I waited for these uh, guys to go for lunch and that's when I started doing my video but then they have started again so they have to do their work and I have to do my work so please excuse me guys sorry for the noises I'm taking a smaller blending brush and I'm picking up an orange color this orange this one from the same palette I am going to blend the red with this orange and I'm also going to bring it in. First, I will just apply this orange above the red towards the inner corner of my eye. So I have done the outer part for now. This is how it looks like. Now I'm going to cut my crease, but before that, I will just uh, clean up this mess right here. Take any concealer, whatever you have, take a stiff. A synthetic brush, like any fine tip brush would do, and cut the crease. Alright, it's simple, it's easy. Now I'm going to take another clean brush and I'm going to pick up a white eyeshadow. Now this time I'm picking it up from my Morphe 35U palette. We can have uh, we have this white color right here. So I'm picking up this white, there is a fall off, but it's okay. I'm going to stamp this white on my corner. So this is white and this is red, but I think we need a transition in between. So I'm going to go back with my orange and for that I'll take another lid, lid bris. Let's take this brush. I take a theme. Uh, okay, now this time I think I will go with this orange. This one is a metallic orange. Previously I used the matte orange. This one. Now I'm taking this one, the metallic one. And I think it's a pretty pretty color. And then I'm going to just, uh, you know, apply this orange in between the red and the white. As you guys can see. I'm also going to merge this orange with the white. Loving it, loving it. Okay, now for the surprise and for the fun element, I'm using this liquid glitter. This is from Forever 52. It's actually called the Magnificent Liquid Eyeshadow. This one is in the color, it's in the number 052, 52, FLE052. Now this is silver, but that's like 
white like okay for glitter we can call it a white glitter so i'm going to take some of it and i am going to press this on the white part of my lid loving this beautiful color transition that has happened wow i love it so i am going to remove this shadow shield from this eye and you can see what a beautiful sharp wing i have got like a sharp edge i have got so let's do the lower eye now for that i'm going back with the same red color i'll have to be a little careful so that i don't mess my base I'm going to stamp this on my lash line. After stamping the red, I'm going back with the tiny blending brush. I'll pick up that same matte orange and I'm going to just blend that with the red. Okay. Now we still have one more color to go which is blue and for that what I have thought is that I am going to apply that blue on my uh, waterline. And the color that I'm going to use is this beautiful electric blue. No, yeah, it's like an ink blue, not electric blue. Ink blue, also from Forever 52. This is in the number F517, and this is going to go inside my waterline. Wow, such a beautiful blue it is. And then I'm going to also set it with similar blue as shadow. And the one that I've decided to use is this stunning blue from the same Beauty Glaze palette. How much I'm loving this blue, I can't tell you guys. I also am thinking to apply a little bit of that glitter here on my inner lash. Okay, and then I'm going to apply white eyeshadow um, because we have white in the, in, the, in the theme. So I'm going to apply this white eyeshadow on my brow bone. For my highlighting, I have to go with the same color combinations that I have in that slip. This is beautiful. So I am going to do my under eye off camera. I'll do my eyeliner and my mascara and my eyelashes, but I'll tell you guys what I'm using. For my eyelashes, I will be using the Hina Haina eyelashes in the style Hamida. It's an absolute stunning eyelashes. And for my mascara, I will be using the Kiko Milano Extra Sculpt Mascara, which is right here. Okay, and what else? For the eyeliner, I haven't decided, but I think I will use the Color Bar uh, Matte Liquid Eyeliner. So just give me some time and I'll be back. Hi guys, I'm back. So I am done with my eye makeup using my four colors of red orange, blue and white and this is the eye makeup that I have come up with. I have I've been loving this makeup. Like I think it's very vibrant but at the same time it's looking so exotic. Uh, the blue has its own uh, charm and pop and the reds and the oranges are also looking very subtle though they are very colourful but they are like I would not say subtle but they are not looking too dramatic or overboard and I think the white glitter that I added has done the trick. It's looking absolutely Fab. Now for my lipstick and my blush because we still have to go a little more with the colors. I'm planning to use uh, an orange lipstick with an orange liner but I'm definitely going to tone it down to like a great extent. I have a trick for that. So let me quickly line my lips. This is the Faces Lip Liner in Tangy Pop. It's a beautiful orange color. And then I'm going to apply the Kiko Milano Unlimited Double Touch uh, Lipstick in 114. This is a dark orange color but I'm going to tone it down. Well, it's not a bad color actually. It's looking nice as it is but we'll still tone it down. And guys, once again, I'm sorry for the noises. The drill machine is running right here. Sorry. I'm going to use this beautiful lip palette I got from the same Instagram page, Brand in 13. Uh, this is from the Lancy brand, that's the name. It has stunning 25 colors in it. So I'm going to be using uh, white because I have to abide by the colors and I'll mix it with the orange and tone down the look.
So I just applied an orange lip gloss, like it's a peachy orangey color, and um, my lipstick has toned down, but I think it's turned more towards pink. But it's like a peachy pink, but yeah. But I used the colors, and for my blush, I'm using the NYX blush. It's a beautiful orange color in cinnamon. Last but not the least, my favorite part, highlighter. I'm using the Forever 52 um, highlighter palette. It has eight stunning shades. Two thousand years later. makeup challenge video i thoroughly enjoyed creating this makeup look and i thoroughly enjoyed this challenge if you guys also did then please uh, show this video a big thumbs up leave your comments and let me know in the comments what other makeup challenges you guys want me to do give me some nice fun ideas and suggestions and i would love to do them and check all the product details in the description box and check the links for the wow coconut skincare range i'm absolutely loving it and you guys can see the beautiful glow the makeup is pulling through <laughs> So guys, I'll see you very soon with my next video. Till then, take good care, have fun and love you all. Bye-bye.